Hello students, welcome to Reader's Workshop. We've been reading lots of information books, information or non-fiction books, books about people, places, animals, events, and things that are real, right? So we've been reading books about corn and about Thanksgiving, about Powhatan Indians. Maybe at home you've been reading about a favorite animal, maybe about something exciting like sharks or the beach or butterflies. So today I'm going to start a new unit with you where we really zoom in and remind ourselves about how to get super smart about nonfiction topics. So what are some strategies you can use when you're reading information books to really learn a lot, okay? And the first strategy is one that we talk about all the time, and it's taking a sneak peek. But it's a little different than when you read a story. When we're reading a story, we sneak peek the cover to get an idea about what the story will be about, to predict, right? To help us predict what's going to happen, and maybe to help us with our reading, figuring out the words. But when we read an information book, we're kind of doing that, but we're actually learning right from the very cover right from the first sneak peek we take. So let's take a look at my little sign here. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Sorry about that. You want to be sure to take a sneak peek to start learning. You want to look at a few pages. Look at the title page. Look at the title. Look at the author. Look at the cover. Look all around and be thinking, what am I already learning? What can I already learn about the topic from the cover? And we're going to do that right now with this new fun book that we're going to be looking a lot at while we learn these strategies. And it's called Hang on Monkey. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to show the picture to you up close for a few seconds. I'm just going to leave it there. And I want you to look really hard just at that picture on the cover and think, wow, what can I already learn about monkeys just from that picture? And from the title, Hang on Monkey, what can I already learn? I'm going to give you a few more seconds, and I'd like you to count on your hands. We do this in class all the time, like, hmm, I can see this. Hmm, I notice this. So count on your hands. Let's see how many facts, how many things you can learn about monkeys just by sneak peeking the cover. I'm going to give you a minute. Okay, let's talk. I hope you have at least two or three things, maybe more, right? So I notice, I notice that there's a mom and a baby and the baby's upside down. So that's something I know that, that baby monkeys maybe hang upside down on their moms and they have to learn to hold on tight. Oh, and that makes a connection to the title, right? Hang on monkey. I see that monkeys have long tails. Um, I know that monkeys can climb on tree branches. I notice that monkeys must live in trees or walk in trees or hang on in trees. So I've already learned a lot of facts just from that. Let's keep going. So now let's take a look at the title page. Wait, I gotta stop and go back. That's a totally different looking monkey, right? This monkey was kind of light brown and tan and white with a little dark face, with a little dark mask. And this one is all black with a white ring and a black face. And this monkey is somewhere where a branch is kind of maybe dry with not a lot of leaves. But this monkey looks like it is hanging on somewhere very jungly. And here this monkey is hanging on with its arm and kind of dangling and hanging in the tree. This monkey was walking along. Hmm, wow. Just think of all the things we've learned about two different kinds of monkeys. We've learned even that monkeys live in lots of different places already, right? I also want you to notice that when we are sneak peeking the cover, when we're sneak peeking the title page, we're really making our eyes go all around. That's why I drew eyes on this 
little reminder chart because when you sneak peek information books, you really want your eyes to go all around the picture, all around the page to sneak peek as much information as you can. So that's it for today. Just keep in mind, whenever you are starting an information book, and I expect you to choose more information books to read, whether it's in Reading A to Z, whether it's in the New Literacy Footprints, please choose some information books and be sure to take a sneak peek to start learning.